Hello everyone, let's make this delicious stuffed spaghetti squash with a pumpkin bolognese. So we're gonna start out by cutting one of our spaghetti squash. Now these can be a little hard to cut, so all you're gonna do is you're going to pop it into the microwave for about five minutes, and then look how much easier my knife is gonna glide right in there. This also makes the roasting process much quicker. So we're gonna cut it in half, and then we are going to scoop the seeds out of the middle. As always, the full run out recipe is on my blog. Check the link in the description box down below for that, and the ingredients are down below as well. So after I've scooped them all out, you can can save these seeds and you can roast them if you want and then we're going to put some spray oil on here some salt and a little bit of cinnamon cinnamon gives a really nice seasonal touch and you're gonna pop these in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes you're gonna flip them over as well so that way they roast on the insides and these are just so good. They're gonna make your house smell amazing too because of the cinnamon. In the meantime, let's get started on our pumpkin bolognese. So we're going to add some olive oil, some onion, some celery, carrots, and minced garlic into a pan. And we're gonna saute that for about five to seven minutes until it gets really nice and fragrant. Just, that's the starter of this. So then we're gonna take some plant boss plant crumbles or you can use any vegan ground beef you like. Add that into the pan with some non-dairy milk. And I'm just kind of like continuously mixing this around as I go. And then we're gonna add in our pumpkin puree and then we're going to mix again. And then we're gonna add in some tomato sauce. I like either like the Rayo's or the Vincent's brand of tomato sauce, really good. Mix this all up and then you're just gonna kind of let this cook and saute, let those flavors marry together. And we're gonna add in some nutritional yeast as well, or you can use vegan Parmesan, whatever you like. And as it's cooking, if you see it's getting a little bit dry, don't be afraid to add in some tablespoons of water here and there, mix it up and you know, just let it do its thing. You don't want this to be too watery though. This should be nice and thick. Once it's all cooked, set it to the side. Our spaghetti squash are done. You could see how different they look now. So we're going to start the fun process of shredding it. All you need to do is take your fork and just start shredding away. I went pretty close to the edge. So that was basically just like the skin left. There was no flesh really inside. So then we're gonna pop it into our sauce and you're just going to toss everything together. Then we're going to put it back into our spaghetti squash skin because we're making stuffed spaghetti squash. We're gonna top it with a little bit of vegan mozzarella. And then I like to put some foil just because it helps the cheese to start melting better. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. After about like 10 minutes, I took it off and then we put it back in the oven again. And they look like this when they're done. And this was so flavorful and so delicious. I added a little bit of sea salt and some fresh thyme on top for a little seasonal touch. And that's really all you have to do. If you don't want to put them back into the spaghetti squash skin, and leave the vegan cheese out, you definitely can just eat this on its own. It really is so delicious. And if you aren't into spaghetti squash, then put it on some pasta. You can use zoodles or regular pasta or gluten-free pasta or whatever you need to use for your own dietary needs. But I really encourage you to try this because it's so good. Like I said, full run out recipe is on my blog. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday with another video. Bye.